I've seen so many variations on this theme that I thought I should enter the fray. So here we go. Just where should one stand when playing with a pianist or playing with the piano? And with that thought, that question, my name is William Fitzpatrick and I'm the artistic director of the Musicier Young Artist Program and the Henry Tomianka Professor of Violin at the Hall Musco Conservatory of Music, which is located on the campus of Chapman University. So let's see. I think that there are only three possibilities. One would be up front from the center of the piano. Two would be on the right side of the piano. And three, slightly behind the pianist hands. So let's start with up front from the center of the piano. Lots of people place themselves here as they are the soloist, n'est-ce pas? And the pianist should follow them no matter what. Problem here is that for the pianist it becomes a guessing game as to when to play. By the time they get the information about what to do, they are probably behind or playing soft enough to get out of the way. So despite the fact that you were in front and center, you could find yourself all by yourself. In my way of thinking, this is not a good place to be. And what about on the stage right of the piano? You know, over there. Well, with this placement, you are completely turned away from the pianist, so to see them, you must swivel around, but then your effles are pointed towards the piano, into the piano, and not to the public. I think you can see why this might not be the greatest of ideas. On top of it, you are so very, very, very far away. So now we get to where I have my students to stand. Well, I tell them to be slightly behind the pianist. From this point of view, you can easily see the pianist's hands and from that judge when to play with them. In turn, they can see your scroll's movement to help guide them on this collaborative journey. But, again, aren't they supposed to follow you? Well, I think of it as a joint venture, and so this becomes a collaboration towards a common goal, that being making music together, each side dependent on the other. Now, certainly, there are other variations on these themes, but I believe this defines the parameters pretty well. So, as always, I do hope this video helps your practicing become more efficient and effective, which helps you to practice hard, but wisely, and that this will lead you to giving even better performances. Mm -hmm.